In the dance of the stars and the whisper of the leaves, one can sense eternity communicating with us. With every breath, we are reminded of our connection to the universe. However, amidst the hustle and bustle of daily life, many of us forget this divine link and lose ourselves in mazes of thoughts and desires. There is a commonly heard phrase that says, trust your feelings. But is this statement truly valid in all situations? Undoubtedly, recognizing and observing one's feelings is crucial. However, using them as an infallible guide to actions can be questionable. Consider the concept of intuition. Unlike mere feelings or emotions, intuition springs from a space of presence and awareness. It isn't shaped by past experiences or mental conditioning but emerges from a deeper place. While feelings can be influenced by fear, anger, or misconceptions, intuition has a calm certainty, a serene strength that is not tainted by negative emotions. To illustrate, reflect on a story where a young woman, after renting a room, decides based on a feeling that she couldn't stay there. However, this feeling was not genuine intuition but a reaction to fear and mistaken perceptions. The next day, the same woman changed her mind and decided to stay. Here, it's evident how feelings can be mutable and influenced by both external and internal circumstances. The human mind is easily swayed by conditioning. Often, we see reality through a distorted lens, based on past experiences, beliefs, and even cultural influences. This can lead to misunderstandings and unnecessary conflicts. For instance, in conflict situations, it's common for the ego to seek justification, amplifying the narrative, making it more complicated than it truly is. The ego loves feeling offended, reinforcing its identity through victimhood. However, this constant need to be right, to make others wrong, is one of the primary sources of human conflict. And what should we do when we are indeed harmed or deceived? Even in these situations, the answer is not to amplify the offense with mental narratives. Instead, it's to seek a solution objectively and consciously. The mind is a wonderful tool, but when we let it dominate us, we drift away from the essence of who we truly are. It constantly seeks stimuli, answers, and often creates illusions that distance us from the truth. However, the truth is simple, you are a boundless being, a divine spark, navigating the vastness of existence. Society has taught us to perpetually seek external things, wealth, status, approval. But the real treasure is within you. The treasure everyone seeks is hidden in your own heart. And to find it, you don't need to go anywhere. Just close your eyes, breathe deeply, and dive into the ocean of your soul. Life is not a problem to be solved but a reality to be experienced. Be like the flower that opens to the sun without questioning why. Just be. And in that being, discover the joy, peace, and freedom waiting for you. At the heart of creation, every soul is like a river, flowing across the vast continent of existence, seeking to merge with the ocean of infinity. Just as the river faces obstacles, rocks, rapids, and diversions, our spiritual journey is also filled with challenges. But we must remember that every challenge is an opportunity for growth. The ancients taught us that true wisdom isn't found in books or words, but in deep silence and keen observation of the nature of existence. Look at the mountains, so sturdy and majestic. They don't move during storms nor are they shaken by the winds. So should the spiritual seeker be, 
steadfast in their quest but flexible in understanding. The ego is like a cloud obscuring the sun of our true nature. It makes us see separations where only connections exist. It keeps us trapped in cycles of desire and aversion. However, just as the wind disperses the clouds, true introspection and meditation can free us from the ego's grasp. And when that happens, the light of our essence shines brightly. Each being, every creature, every stone has a lesson to teach us. There's no greater master than life itself. Therefore, live every moment fully, with passion and compassion. Serve others, not because you want something in return, but because you see the divine in every heart. Life is a paradox, a dance between opposites. Light and darkness, joy and sorrow, love and loneliness. Humans, in their constant search for meaning, often forget that the true essence of existence is revealed in the center of this paradox. Understand that the spiritual journey is not a destination but a continuous blossoming. Just as a flower doesn't compete with the neighboring flower but just blooms, allow yourself to bloom in your authenticity and truth, recognizing the sacredness in each step along the way. The mind is a fantastic tool but has become our biggest prison. It makes us believe we are separate, that happiness lies somewhere in the future, and that the past holds all the answers. But I tell you, the present is the only reality. Everything you seek is already within you. Meditation is not the process of finding something, it's the act of recognizing what's already there. Many seek love in others, in external things, as if it were an object to be won. However, love is our natural state. When you remove the barriers of fear, judgment, and expectation, what remains is pure, unconditional love. It's not something to be found but to be revealed. Don't strive so hard to achieve, but rather to let go. Let go of preconceived ideas, society's chains, and the ego's expectations. In the emptiness, in the total acceptance of the present moment, you will find the peace and ecstasy you seek. The journey is as important as the destination. Celebrate every step, every breath, every laugh, and every tear, for they compose life's wonderful tapestry. While our feelings are an integral part of our human experience, blindly trusting them as a guide can be misleading. It's essential to distinguish between fleeting emotional reactions and the profound wisdom of intuition. By becoming more present and aware, we can navigate life with greater clarity and purpose.